I hope you've registered between 9 and 10 o'clock this morning. Today we'll be introducing you to life in space on the International Space Station. Each and every one of you are all highly accomplished degree graduates in engineering, science, or mathematics. Today you are all starting together in astronaut candidate training. And then I said, no, the one that fell from the top. <laughs> <laughs> and how is this acceptable? We thought we'd be here for nine. Yes, but it's ten o'clock. You're not on space station time yet. Grab a seat quickly. Lesson one. The International Space Station operates on zero GMT, which is one hour behind us in Ireland. Today we're giving you a brief introduction to daily life on the space station. Take note, life in space isn't much different to here on Earth. How are we meant to live up there without gravity? Aha! Uh -huh. A common misconception gravity <coughs> and space. Gravity is what keeps us grounded on Earth. It still exists in um, space, but it's a weaker force called microgravity. Can you define gravity? <laughs> <laughs> gravity is the force that attracts the body towards the centre of the Earth or any other physical body having mass. It's actually amazing. Galileo proved that gravity causes two objects to fall at the same time regardless of their weight. Here's an example of Galileo's experiment. An apple and a duster are at the same height. Cassie is observing what happens. Michaela says go and they are dropped at the same time. They hit the ground at the same time due to the force of gravity. Experiments such as Eden ISS are a big part of the International Space Station. They are designed for space. Back to your daily routine. Life here is start of the morning. Astronauts wake at 6.30. You'll use the bathroom, wash yourselves, brush your teeth and hair just like home. A big difference is that there is no running water. But don't worry, all fluids are pre-packaged into foil tubes and you're given a rinse slash shampoo. You even get to bring your own toothpaste, but you must spit it into a disposable tissue because there are no sinks in the ISS. An important part of life is... Eating! You need three meals a day, just like on Earth. You bring bonus foods with you as treats for the time in space. All food is pre-cooked, packaged and labelled on Earth and sent up to us. You have an oven to heat your food if you need to. All food is eaten from a package with a long spoon. You have to make sure the food is secure. Floating crumbs are not welcomed on the ISS. They can contaminate air filters, which is not a good idea. You drink through a straw. Future astronauts, can you guess why? I know, I know. Okay, go ahead then. You drink through a straw because without one, the drink will escape from the packet and float in microgravity. Great answer! It's been a long day and we'll, and we'll finish up with what you'll be finishing up with in space. Sleeping. You need as, mu as much sleep in space as in Earth. You'll have a sleep cabin with a sleeping bag. Your night routine is the same as home. You brush your teeth, use the bathroom and put on your favourite pyjamas. It doesn't matter if your cabin is on the ground, upright or by the ceiling. To stop floating in your sleep, your sleeping bags will be attached to the inside wall of your cabin. You've got an insight to life in space on the International Space Station.